bitch here. So we have, this is just kind of sterile, or um, just a support bandage. Okay. Um, and then underneath it is our sterile bandage over the top of it. Okay. Um, so we can just cut all of this off. Um, and I can send you home with a couple scalpel blades or if you have a, just a good pair of scissors. Uh, yeah, I'll use scissors. Perfect. And when you go and do it at home, um, I have it all kind of written out in the discharge notes as well in terms of the different layers. Hey, <laughs> buddy. Okay. Um, but if when you go and change it, you have any questions, just give us a call. I will. <laughs> For sure. Oh, I know. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna say. And then when you can find the end, it unwraps. <laughs> so that's this outer kind of support bandage. Okay. And then this is the inner sterile one. What is that rubbery bandage stuff um, called? So it's almost like, this is um, expand over. Okay. So it's kind of stretchy like that wrap, but then it, one side of it is, it, is it adhesive. Here it's a yeah. And then that reddish stuff is the sterile cover? Um, so that's brown gauze, that's oh, not it's sterile. Just, okay. It's this inner cotton is the only piece that's sterile. Okay. All of that will come off. And unfortunately, it takes some of his hair with it. But. Well, it's the, time, <laughs> it's the time of year hair falls so, off. Wow. That's where we're at. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. So, I mean, all of the swelling is down, which is great. He's got a... So, just kind of dry it up real quick. Okay. But, no, that looks great. Super. Okay. So we'll do the sterile one kind of over the top of that first and then the support bandage over that. Okay. Well. And it's gonna be the first layer and then brown gauze. Okay. And then the expand over. Okay. So with the combine, I try to kind of hold it like towards the edges. Um, you know, the part that we are most concerned about is what's, you know, directly over it. It doesn't need to stay, you know, we don't need sterile gloves to put it on. Oh, okay. Like that. But I usually try to just kind of unwrap it by the edges there. And I always do seam side out, but again, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. So a nice clean spot right over the top. And if anything, go a touch high with it because it'll tend to slip down a little bit. Yeah. You would check notes and stuff in there. Perfect. Um, and the invoice has all the bandage stuff on there, so it should be all set. What you're doing right now, yeah. Yes, yep. Come on. Oh, wait, no. Brown goes right over the top of that. You can pull this quite tight. Oh, okay. You're not going to pull not the brown gauze too tight. A bit above the knee and, and yeah, all the way. Yeah, exactly. And if anything, go a little higher than lower. Um, it hasn't been slipping too bad with him, and we'll kind of add some extra stuff to keep it from slipping. But. Yeah, he has a rigorous trailer. <laughs> so yeah, nice and tight. We want this to compress a bit. Okay. Oh, I know, buddy. And then this is the the expand over. 
So the blue line is the end of it, and then the inside of it is sticky. So do sticky side down. And this go start over the top a little bit. Okay, um, I noticed it, that always sticking yeah, up. Stick it right to his hair there. And then I usually try to overlap them about like a half. Okay. Again, nice and tight. Pretty tight. Um, this one you don't want to go quite as tight, and usually I kind of tighten it over the front of their knee, um, and then just kind of set it on. Um, you know, you don't want it loose by any means, but. And then again, just kind of go down to stick it to his skin a little bit at the bottom. And it gets changed, so today is... So today's Wednesday, Wednesday, so we'll do it every three days. Okay. Um, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Saturday, um, unless it gets wet, you know, really wet, really dirty, something like that. Okay. So there's our sterile Okay. Air. Okay, now that is cotton. Yep, so just sheet cotton. Um, so this, you can go right down to his foot. Um, he's got short little legs, so it'll come up <laughs> to his knee. <laughs> so we'll do cotton, brown gauze again. Again, you okay. can do the brown gauze pretty tight. You're not going to get it quite as tight just because it's a little thicker. Is she still sleepy? Is she still sleepy or is she pretty awake? Mm -hmm. In between. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should feed her this. This is a hay stretcher mash. Oh, okay. Do you think it's time or? You uh, let me just it? take a look at her before we give it to her. Doesn't seem quite as hysterical as I would expect it to be. Hysteria at the vets. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, there we go. And then we're gonna do vet wrap. So this prevents him from bending the knee. So it, it does a little bit. A little bit. Um, the support wrap is mostly, um, they'll tend to kind of stock up and be swollen just because they're not moving around much and mm -hmm. um, with the injury there. So this is just giving him a little more kind of support down below. Well, given our barn is not heated, so he, you know, it's, yeah. it's usually about 10 degrees above the ambient temperature, yeah. so it's going to be around zero, but that'll be nice and warm. Yeah. I'll just stick the vet wrap to itself. And then this is elasticon, so this we're just going to put at the top and the bottom just to keep anything from slipping. Okay. Almost done. I, I promise. So we can go right up high. Okay. And it's just going to be just a couple loops, so kind of overlap it like half on his skin and half on the bandage. Um, just to keep it stabilize keep it sort of yep exactly And then, yeah, like kind of go down onto his foot there. Okay. 